Granted, it doesn't look all that different than the previous model, but that's by design. Mercedes didn't see any reason to mess with the G-Wagon's iconic shape, so the designers mostly left the exterior alone. Instead, Mercedes had its team put most of its effort into completely re-engineering everything else. So although the new luxury off-roader is slightly longer and wider than before, the differences between the two aren't immediately obvious. Still, we like what Mercedes has done with the look. It's been tastefully updated, but it's still clearly a G-Wagon. Anyone who doesn't like that can always buy a GLE or GLS. The interior, on the other hand, has been completely redesigned. As we mentioned in our in-depth interior preview, the passenger grab handle is still there, as are the center-mounted switches that control the three locking differentials. The rest of the cabin, however, has been given a modern Mercedes treatment. If you like the current E-Class interior, you will like the one on the new G-Class. If not, well, you're out of luck. The designers even got rid of the infamous basketball hoop cup holder.